That's Kanathi's roost, a Khajiiti isle with emerging ties to the ordinary dominion. Sea elves have been flexing their muscles in that part of the Topol Bay. Competing interests could lead to bloodshed. Someone like you could set things right. We submit to your will and call forth the chains of cold. They're performing a ritual, preparing the way for a dark anchor. Open rift to oblivion. It's worse than we thought. The plane melt has begun. The portals reach from our side to theirs. That means there is a traitor. Perhaps it was simply arrogance. Perhaps it was all part of his grand scheme. Who can know the logic of a Daedric prince? Claims it fulfills a prophecy in those wretched scrolls of his. Imagine seeing your nemesis succeed where you failed. Let the way be opened. I am patient. Let the will of Prolog Val be denied. This world will one day be mine. You're safe now. Welcome to Canarthi's Roost, friend. The hurricane must have been very disorienting. So many injured, confused. Keep your voice down. Try not to draw attention. Razumdar is here on a mission of some... Uh, delicacy. You are just what the Bandari ordered. Between your hands and Raz's good looks, we are certain to see this through. First, a question. Where did you come from? Yes, lie with confidence. A straight face and a gleam in your eye. Well done. It is very good right now to fit in. Your sudden arrival, it does not fit in, you understand? You should not. You should trust your instincts. Live if you wish. No one will stop you. Or, come with Raz and do what you can to help us recover. In the process, grow your stature and wealth. It is entirely up to you. Because you are no soldier, which is useful. You can speak with the locals, assure them we are not invaders or marauders. Now come, let us try to fit in. Commander Karen, a moment? This recruit survived the shipwreck without injuries. You mentioned something about the Shattered Shoals, yes? Glad you're up and about, recruit. I'm in need of a scout to head to Shattered Shoals. Most of our fleet foundered to the west, but we've had few survivors trickle in from that direction. We captured a sea viper spying on the camp. Those pirates never travel alone. Find out if they're around Shattered Shoals, and if so, what they're doing on this island. Of course, you should assist any shipwreck survivors you find. We must each do our part. Before you head to Shattered Shoals, speak with Eelsil. He just returned from exploring a nearby temple. That wizard claims to know something about everything. So he may have insight on how these sea vipers operate. Il Seal is this way. Il Seal, this recruit wishes to speak with you. Marvelous, isn't it? We'll have to construct a special room for the Morning Stone when we bring it back to the Mages Guild. I'm sorry, did you need something? Yes. The Temple of the Morning Springs is an old Khajiit ruin not far from here. We excavated the Morning Stone from one of the chambers. 
As you can see, its supply of water appears endless. What do you mean, pirates? In an ancient Khajiit temple? Preposterous! All we saw were the undead warriors that overran our camp. I have no idea. Actually, I have 12 ideas, but they're far less fascinating than the Morning Stone. Probably some sort of ancient curse. It usually is with these things. Arrogant sea elf pirates. To my recollection, they aren't known to raid Kanathi's roost. Oh, and they have a thing for snakes. But I'm sure we both have more important matters to attend. Uh, if you'd excuse me. We should speak private. Before you depart, let's meet by the statues north of camp. There, you see? You fit in and no one will stop you from walking away. Ilsil is most impressed with his newest bubble. But the undead are a threat to all of Canarthi's roost. If you want to, you could search the Temple of the Morning Springs, determine how to contain the dead there. Then the locals should see we came here as allies, not conquerors. Karanith told you how the hurricane dashed the fleet into Canarthi's roost. Now the sea vipers are picking at the bones of our ships. Strange, yes? You could scout the coast, as the commander said. Prove yourself to the soldiers. Oh, there's far less glamorous work to be done in Mistral, at the northern end of the island. Let's meet up there, after you've done what you decide to do. Until then, bright moons guide your steps. squad we were all on a little alkash part of the dominion fleet sailing for kamathi's roost then a hurricane blew up out of nowhere sails tore hulls cracked and we were thrown into the ocean i ended up here i can't find the rest of my squad i thought i heard one of them calling out but the ocean twists up sounds if they're wounded or pinned down, could you keep an eye out for my soldiers? They answer to Edelus, Anglon, and Nistel. Two of us can cover more ground. Who are you? Were you part of the fleet? Alive? Good. That's good. Wave smashed me against the ship. Cracked a few ribs. Not the best feeling.
Glow juice? You find some? Tastes like sandals boiled in mint perfume. But if it knits my ribs, I'll drink the whole bottle. Good. I'll find Sergeant Firion. Go. Get them back safe. Lost a lot of friends in that storm. Give me some good news. I saw her swept overboard in that damn storm. Held on to the rigging long as I could, but it tore the skin off my palms. If I can't hold a weapon, I'm useless to my squad. Do you have any bandages? I lost my kit to the sea. Blow juice? Used to think this stuff was only good for practical jokes on snowy days. Once I can heft Spleen Shanker, I'll push through the beach and find Sergeant Ferian. How about you? Hope they appreciate their good fortune when you find them. I can get inland after I rest. Fight with purpose. Sifra, I'm glad you came by. Have you seen any other marines along the beach? She's alive. I suppose that's some luck amidst all this wreckage. Can't say the same for my leg. If I don't put too much weight on it, I can manage a good hobble. Glow juice? By the gods, it just might. Soon as I can stand on my own, I'll head inland. Lieutenant Gellin dragged me out of the water. He'll want to know Sergeant Firion and the rest of the squad are all right. I think he said something about looking for shelter in a nearby cave, but I was still coughing up sand. <clears throat> Turns out my squad were the ones who found me. Ever consider a career as a Dominion Marine? You'd make quite a scout. My squad said you were looking for Lieutenant Gellin. Have you found him? 
do you mean? First, a hurricane blows out of nowhere and destroys our fleet. Then, an able-bodied Dominion Marine is captured and tortured to death. What else was in that cave? Some kind of sacrifice? This is too big for my squad to handle. We need reinforcements. Nistel spotted a beach ship nearby. It looks intact, and she spotted Dominion sailors aboard. We need to combine our forces and find who murdered Lieutenant Gellin. My squad and I need to pull his body out of that damn cave. Would you warn the sailors on that beach ship? They need to know it's not safe to wander around. Wait, take this. I found some glow juice while I was looking for my squad, but they're on the mend. You'll get used to the taste. We'll be along shortly. Watch yourself. Want a slick arsed sea viper or a cabbaged mouth castaway? State your business with the crew of the Prowler. The hurricane killed hundreds of Marines. Why does it matter if one of them died in the cave? Oh. Well, the Prowler is like a hen in a wolf den until she's seaworthy again. Maybe your Marines can prove they're more than two legged cargo and shiny armor. If they pitch in, I'll consider reinforcements. Are they up for it? Or are they all talk? Still need more and I'm sure they'll be as useful as they were in the hurricane. Should they care to prove otherwise, they're welcome to do actual work patching leaks in the Prowler's hold. Maybe they can locate the replacement helmsman's wheel in all this wreckage. Oh, and our Sun Sighter. It must have fallen overboard when we beached. Our lookout saw those skink-fingered pirates make off with it. You'll have to get the Sun Sighter back, any way you can. Sure, talking's easier than working. Well, ask. Captain Jimela uses it to navigate. I could tell you how the sun and stars show the ship's exact position. But none of it matters while it's in the Sea Viper's hands. Barnacles on the arse. And they're all Sea Elves. Malmer, they call themselves. Nothing more than pirates, if you ask me. Some say they have a connection to the water itself, but it's a lie. Anyone can learn weather magic like they do. The pride of the long coast. We'll sail for the Dominion as long as they pay us to raid enemy shipping. Captain Jimela took over the Prowler a few years ago. She's smart, cunning, and deadly dangerous when provoked. She's also luckier than anyone I served. Every ship in the fleet smashed to flinders on Kenarthi's roost. Every ship but the Prowler. Joan and Jode, don't let the captain hear you say that. Pirates steal and pillage for themselves. We're privateers, so we do it for whoever pays us. A crucial distinction. stopped. I don't think I've ever been this sick.
our Dominion sailors. They're privateers. Just our luck. We'll show that old sea cat what Dominion Marines can do. Edelus is the best scrounger in the regiment. If you want, I can send him out to look for a helmsman's wheel. He's on his way. Anything else we can do? All right. I appreciate what you've done for us. We'll keep the prowler safe while you take care of the rest. These aren't Dominion sailors. We'll show that old sea cat. Onglorn is our best tracker. He can recover the Sun Sider in no time. I almost pity the Sea Viper who's holding on to the Sun Sider. Anglon will recover it soon enough. What else needs doing? Beast time for that mangy privateer to make good on his promise. Maybe you should do the talking. I'll just rub it in. That was fast. All right. There's room on the prowler for your marine friends, as long as they work for their meals. I said I'd consider it. Captain Jimela is the only one who can make that call. Something you'll want to hear. You just made the prowler seaworthy, and Captain Jimela always pays her debts. Go talk to her. She only bites if you give her good reason. Due to your efforts, the Prowler is free to sail once the tide comes in. Those Marines did their part as well. I have no reinforcements, but I offer something better. I know who's killing the Dominion soldiers, and I know how to stop it. Our lookout watched the Sea Vipers drag a Dominion Marine into a cave. Later, he saw your friends remove the Marine's body. If we weren't so short-handed, I'd have ordered his rescue. But three of my own crew were missing. Before we understood the danger, I sent my crew to scavenge among the shoals so we might repair the Prowler. We thought they disappeared, but one just returned, and she tells a harrowing tale. The Sea Vipers happened. Now there's a new storm brewing, and I fear they're the cause of it. Mustang, we recover us below. Hear what she has to say for yourself. Vipers are insane! They're trying to create another hurricane! Sir Verkvild and I were scavenging for a replacement helmsman's wheel when the Sea Vipers ambushed us. They brought us to the island with the beached Dominion flagship. They'd done things there. Terrible things. Those filthy Malmur dragged my mates up and tied them to these serpent-shaped statues. Then they started chanting, and lightning surrounded them. That's when the storm began to form around the island. Yes, I'm sure of it. It was a terrible sight. The sea vipers were so caught up in the ritual, I slipped free. I tried to grab Sir, but the lightning held him fast. Then one of the sea vipers yanked at him. I saw the Maurmur's wrist glow. The Maurmur wore lodestones on their wrists. It let them ignore those lightning bombs, but I couldn't find any more, so I jumped off the ship and swam for it. Please, don't let them sacrifice my crewmates.
vipers are insane! Sur and Workfield return just after the sky is cleared up. They're a bit damp, but otherwise all right. My lookout says I have you to thank. Then we'll finish repairs and shove off at high tide. Oh, your marine friends fended off sea vipers while you rescued my crew. They're welcome aboard, as long as they want. Perhaps we'll see you at Mistral. You'll always have a place on the Prowler. Please, a moment. Please, I need your help. My master's life is in danger. I'm part of an expedition from Eagle's Strand. While we explored the Temple of the Morning Springs, the dead began to rise. The others fled, but my master never emerged. Aurelian taught me to know when I should ask for help. Well, I'm asking. Two magical wards seal the temple, marked by emblems of a scorpion and a spider. If you can keep the undead away while I disrupt the wards, we can search for Aurelian together. How about it? I have no doubt Aurelian can protect himself. But if he's trapped inside, we need to get him out. My master and I had little to do after the shipwreck. When the locals mentioned a temple where the fountains never run dry, we leapt at the chance to investigate. Ilsil insisted on leading, of course. Ah, so you've met him. My master calls him Eel Kill. Something about an experiment gone wrong many years ago. The morning stone you saw came from this temple. Eelsil was barely able to remove it before the undead fell upon us. Aurelian thought it could be used to control the weather, perhaps prevent another hurricane. Eelsil disagreed, of course. He insisted on studying it further at Eagle's Strand. Welcome here. I'm whatever I wish to be. I change bodies like high elves change clothes. Though the corpses in this temple limit my wardrobe. What does it matter to you? Why do you trespass? Ah, the name for my newest outfit. His flesh sags a bit, though the power in his bones reminds me of my youth. And the robes. 
I'd forgotten the feel of silk upon newly won flesh. Set foot in this temple and see for yourself. Such commendable posture. I could definitely wear you in the autumn. As for Rorelian, he's fit for display under full moons or new. I tire of this. Leave or die. It matters not. That can't be good. We need to get those wards down fast. Poison courses it's through it its prey. Weaves the web around its dead. I'll disrupt the ward.
barrier is down. But before we proceed, I need to speak with you. When we entered the temple, that skeleton made it sound as though Aurelian was in grave danger. I won't let vague threats keep us from my master. But Aurelian is too important to lose. Perhaps we should think before we act. The Dominion relies on Aurelian for his sound judgment. He's taught countless students the ways of Magicka, including some of the Queen's own advisors. His role in the invasion is paramount for our future success. If anything were to happen to him... Thank you. We should keep moving. We found the Morning Stone on that pedestal. Wait, that's Aurelian! What's he doing up there? Ears that large and you still don't listen. Perhaps you need a few alterations. There was a time when the sound of Aldor's voice commanded the terror of thousands. Why, I am. I'm Aldor. I see your dominion teaches you nothing of my people. I shouldn't bemoan your ignorance. You fools ended centuries of captivity when you removed the Morning Stone. Never mind that accursed blue rock. I'm about to restore my wardrobe to its full glory. Behold this Rorellian fellow. Such vibrancy. I could use more like him, but one must be willing to run through a bolt of silk for the finest coat. I believe I'll keep him. At least until my summoning ritual wears him through. You see, undead are all so... beige. But I'm willing to adorn myself with hundreds of tawdry outfits in order to collect the more colorful garb at Eagle Strand. Then drown in a sea of bones. <laughs> Leave Aurelian for now. We have to disrupt the summoning ritual. I'll destroy the bone piles. It'll take a moment to weaken the circle. Keep the undead away from me. King, I'll weaken the next circle. Command Aldor.
Uldor, I command you by the tears of the two moons, return to your prison. Ah! That will hold me from dawn. You're Gathwin's ally, yes? Please disable these traps so she can make it to us safely. Despite all my knowledge, Uldor's influence over me was absolute. I'd be little more than a puppet without your timely intervention. Oh, only my pride. But we have a more pressing matter. As Uldor sensed my thoughts, I could sense his. He plans to overwhelm and enslave Kanathi's roost with an undead horde by the next dawn! Uldor was a powerful Malmo wizard who learned to separate his spirit from his body even in death. He can wear hundreds of mindless forms at a time. Thankfully, I know his weakness. The Morning Stone's endless water supply tied Uldor's spirit to his body. When Eelsil removed the Morning Stone from the temple, he set Uldor free. Once again, Eelsil's sloppy methods nearly caused the death of me. These gems focus the Morning Stone's power. Uldor had me remove them from his tomb. I propose Gathwin recovers the Morning Stone from Eagle's Strand. Meanwhile, we restore Uldor's prison. <laughs> Simple enough. The centerpiece of this old Khajiit temple. After Uldor's reign of terror, the Sea Elves gave it to the Khajiit so it would become the key to his prison. No, which is why we must be the ones to enter the tomb. After he saw you through my eyes, he seemed convinced that to wear you would destroy him. For some reason, he feared you. No, we must enter the tomb together. Though he can't wear you, he could quite easily obliterate you with his magic. Only by splitting his attention can we hope to defeat him. Master, I know what you're planning. I won't let you throw your life away. Aurelian's plan is to let Uldor possess him. They'll both be sealed in the tomb forever. But it doesn't need to be this way. Seal me inside. Aurelian is too important for the Dominion to lose. Besides, we both saw how the summoning ritual weakened my master. Please, help me convince Aurelian. I will gladly seal myself in the tomb to spare my master. Uldor is a threat to all on this island. We should hurry. Uldor won't be trapped for long. <laughs> That's madness. I've experienced so many summers. My greatest accomplishment was watching Gathwin blossom into someone who far surpassed my own deeds. No, she must recover the Morning Stone. You and I should confront Uldor. Then we should waste no more time. You can't do this, Master. The Dominion will thrive without me. It's far stronger than it knows. Then I should recover the Morning Stone. Farewell, Vorillion. I... I know, Gathwin. I know. outfit. I've reconsidered what our combined power can do, Uldor. I willingly give myself over. I knew such power would tempt you. Very well. Hurry! Place the tears of the two moons in the pedestals. Wretched fool! I'll turn your friend to ash! Stay away from those pedestals! You're not 
leave this tomb alive! You worthless rag! This tomb can't hold me forever! Go quickly. I feel Uldor's weakness fade. Hurry, tell Garthwen of the plan's success. But don't mourn for me, friend. I earned a useful fate. Few can say the same. Uldor will sustain me. Better a living form than a dusty old skeleton, I suppose. I'd hoped for more time to meditate, but this wasn't what I had in mind. Goodbye, my friend. You're what all in the Dominion should aspire to be. It's done, isn't it? Morellian is sealed inside with that monster. Forgive me. Uldor couldn't be allowed to roam free. Something had to be done, and you had the strength to see what I could not. I'll ensure the Morningstone remains guarded at all times. I should make a full report so the Dominion understands the danger of Uldor's capabilities. No good comes from dwelling on the past. Aurelian lives, which means there's hope. He's a great man. A good man. I don't care how long it takes. I'll find a way to free him from that monster. Forgive me. You did so much to help a stranger. I won't forget. I can open a portal to the temple courtyard if you wish. There you go. Hurry, it won't remain open for long. This one has heard reports. You've kept busy. Good. You fit in now more than ever. How did things go? Clearly, you were meant to help us out. John and Jode have a sense of humor, yes? And, of course, Raz thinks discretion deserves a reward. 